Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This one going to show you how to do a glitch text effect, something similar to this. I'm going to show you step by step how we did it. Let's go start your timer. We're going to take about two minutes. Here we go. All right, starting from zero, step one, go ahead and grab your text tool and type in what you want it to say. I'm going to write in glitch because it's nice and easy. I'm going to go ahead and grab the move tool and then I'll just put it somewhere in the center, something like this. Good enough. Okay. Good. Now, the next step, grab this, making sure you're selected on it, and hover it and select, create a copy. So this little button here is a copy layer. So we've created a copy of it. Now, double click in the gray area here. This is going to open up layer style. Uncheck this red R button or red. So under advanced blending R, uncheck it and you'll see this green rectangle. Perfect. Now, go ahead, making sure you've got your move tool selected. I'm just going to move this. I'm just pushing the left arrow key and I pressed it seven times, but you can of course do it as many times as you want for your effect. So you just hit the arrow key and then bang, we've got this little turquoisey looking color. Beauty. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it another copy. I'm going to hover on it, drag, drop it on top of that little plus sign and bingo, we've got a second copy. Double click on the area again, the gray area, and this time instead of the R channel unchecked, we're going to uncheck this G. So make sure that button is not uh, selected and now hit OK as well. And this doesn't really work, of course, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, click on it and now I'm going to drag it out. So you see what's happening here? I've just gone ahead and made sure that I've hit the right arrow key and as I do that, I get it to about well, right about there. That looks about right. What do you think? Something like that? Okay, good enough. So we've got the blue and the green. And again, this is just done with arrow keys. So we've got the coloring that we want. Now we gotta hit, we gotta go ahead and you know make it glitchy looking. So before we do that, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna go ahead and select all these three. So I just hold down the shift key and I selected them all, and I'm gonna right click on it, convert to smart object. So we've got this smart object, and then I'm gonna right click on the smart object that we just created. And we are going to rasterize this layer. So now it's a rastered layer. Good. Now, the final step is, again, you guys can season this to your taste. I'm just going to show you how this kind of works. I'm going to grab the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a selection, something like this. And once I've got it nice and thin, let's go with a thinner version. I'm going to hold down the command key if you're on a Mac or the control key if you're on a PC. And then I'm just going to hit the right arrow key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times. Let's go with that, see what it looks like. Select, deselect, bang. We've got this little glitch looking thing going on here. Maybe we'll do another one here. And this one will be a little bit, let's make it nice and thin again. I'm going to hold down the command key or the control key. And then this time I'm going to hit the arrow, left arrow key instead of the right arrow key. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, something like that. Okay, select, deselect. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically moving these pixels a little bit and creating that neat little glitch effect. Now, if I was doing this, I would select just the letter I, for example, and I would go hold down the command or control key, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do it ten times. Maybe I'll select something like this, make it a bit thicker. Command or control key, one, two, three, four, five go to the left five times. And again, this is just, you know, whatever you guys think you want it to look like. I'm going to make this selection here, command key. I'll go to the right, one, two, three, four, five, and then deselect. And basically, I'm just going and doing that with the marquee tool to make the glitch effect. That's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.